welcome once again to Dom's Hit Parade. I hope you all have been having a very nice summer so far. Uh, mine has been, well, let's just say I'm glad I've been taking this little bit of a break from YouTube. I've needed a little rest and relaxation. Uh, I, I mentioned in my channel chatter video a few weeks ago how I was uh, rather exhausted, you know, physically more than anything else. But since I did that video, I've noticed how emotionally and mentally exhausted I've been. It didn't really hit me until just recently. I've been more irritable than usual. I've been down and, and very moody, very kind of out of sorts. And I mentioned that I wanted to make a couple of uh, review, album review videos uh, before the end of June. Obviously that didn't happen. And for the life of me, as much as I wanted to do those album reviews, I really want to tell you guys about them. I could not focus my thoughts enough to really write out notes for reviews. Uh, so hopefully with this break, uh, the rest of this break, I will be able to do that. And uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm taking a little bit of a break from this break, if it, as you will, uh, with a new bargain bag video. Uh, yes, I just did the last bargain bag video last week, but hey, that was for June and it's now July. So this is, it is a monthly feature but after all. So it is my July bargain bag. And the reason I'm doing a bargain bag video so soon after the other one is it's a good video for this break because it takes almost no planning. All I have to do really is write out notes uh, for the CD that I review in between the two opening of the two bargain bags. So uh, not to, you know, not counting all of the, you know, the listening to the CDs from the previous month's bargain bag, which uh, did not take very long this time because two of them were EPs, which obviously are quick listens, and the and another two are ones that I was already familiar with, so I didn't really need to listen to them. So. But yeah, I got the listening done out of the way really quickly, so here we are at another bargain bag video. So anyway, but before I go into opening the new bargain bags, I'm going to quickly go through the CDs from the old bargain bags to tell you what was in there and uh, to see if you if you guys want any of the cast-offs that I have. Uh, yes, if you want any of them, if they, any of them sound interesting to you, just leave a note in uh, either in the comments of this video or in a direct message to me on Twitter. Uh, you can send me your address. I'll send you whatever CDs you want. I won't even ask you for postage. So how about that? What a deal, huh? But anyway, yeah, as usual, uh, mostly cast-offs junk. Last month I said mostly crap. I don't like to be that negative because people put their time and effort into this music. And I mean, it's not outright horrible like the word crap implies. So forgive me for using that uh, expletive, if you will, last month. So yeah. Mostly cast-offs, uh, a couple of keepers, actually, maybe even just... No, there were two keepers this time, actually. But anyway, first of all, the two CDs that I had already been familiar with, Michael Frito, uh, as I said, teen pop, uh, late 90s, 1999, I think. Uh, yes, I mean, kind of, kind of like in sync, uh, maybe not quite as dancey all the way through, anyway. But, I mean, he, he's got an okay voice, if you like, you know, the, the teen pop, typical of the term, turn of the millennium. Uh, this is uh, not bad. Uh, I owned it before, but I ended up casting it off, uh, you know, years and years ago. I just got tired of it. It wasn't terrible. I just was done with it. So, but anyway, and uh, George Huntley, this one, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to send this to a friend or not. Uh, so, I mean, if you really do want it, let me know uh, before I make up my mind who might get it. Uh, some There might be some Connells fans out there that do not have this CD. George Huntley was a member of the Connells for a long time. And this is his solo side project. Brain Junk is the name of the CD. So, yeah, if anybody wants any of those. And now onto the ones that I was not familiar with until listening to them. First off, we have Zoba. Uh, A New Breed is the name of the album. And uh, this actually was the uh, cover that I showed you last time. Uh, according to where the staples are in the booklet, this is technically the front cover. But hey, it's reversible. More, buck, more bang for your buck, right? Uh, but anyway, yeah, Zoba is uh, a basically dance pop sort of stuff. And I mentioned a few minutes ago how the word crap was a little harsh. Maybe not in terms of this CD. But uh, yeah, her voice is just was just very grating to me. And I not a lot of singers get that reaction from me. You know, I, I can kind of put up with a lot of stuff. I like unusual sounding vocalists. But for some reason, the timbre of her voice was like nails on a chalkboard. I, honestly, it was just... Not good. And and silly lyrics in these songs. I mean, too many to mention right here. Uh, well, she does a cover of La La Means I Love You. That was, I think, a 60s song. But honestly, it's it's just, you know, <laughs> that doesn't save the album at all. Not by a long shot. But yeah, as I said, some of the sil silly lyrics in the song, the lead single, which actually includes two remixes on the CD. Wow. 
is called Fax Me. You know, I mean, who has a fax? Well, this was from 1998, so a lot of people probably back then still had a fax machine, but still, it's like, wouldn't it be, back then, wouldn't it have been Page Me? Or I, I guess texting didn't really come along until later on, but still, you know, Page Me would sound better than Fax Me. It's like, what is she, is she interested in somebody that wants to get it on with an accountant? I just, I, that, that's how the, the phrase Fax Me struck. I just, unless she's using it as a sound alike for the word, which I guess maybe that's one way to take the song. I don't know. But hey, you can take the song. You can take the whole CD if you want. You know. Anyway, uh, this uh, Kettle Bay, uh, Albert W. Kettle Bay, this was, is a uh, classical music. Um, not a lot to say about it. Uh, I like a, some classical, a little bit of classical. You know, mostly I stick to, you know, the stuff that everybody knows, you know. Holst's, Holst's The Planets and uh, Vivaldi's The Four Seasons are two favorites of mine, by the way. But yeah, no, I, I'm just kind of, you know, not well versed in the intricacies of classical music, so I don't really have anything to say about that one. And then we have Shaka Man, the jazz match. It's reggae, as if you couldn't tell. Um, and, you know, reggae is one of those genres, you know, a little of it for me goes a long way. Bob Marley. I like Bob Marley. Uh, UB40, which is kind of a, you know, not not true reggae. You know, I like UB40. Uh, but, yeah, this one, it was okay, as I said. And, uh, yeah, a lot of these, you know, except for Zoba, all the rest of these are kind of, you know, they're okay enough at what they do. It's just not my thing, which I say in every one of these bargain bag videos, so... Maybe I should just put it in the text at the beginning of the video or something so I don't have to say it. But anyway, uh, Corinne West, uh, singer-songwriter, she sounds a lot like the Indigo Girls. Uh, you know, th the voice is just a spitting image for, I can't remember who offhand is the lead vocalist for the Indigo Girls, or, or was, I guess. Uh, but yet, vocally, she's a spitting image for her. Uh, and But the song stylings, you know, I like the Indigo Girls well enough. I have three or four of their albums, but, you know, the songs in this album just did not really strike me with any significant uniqueness. So, yeah, I'm not interested in that CD. And then we have The Somethings, music from 27th Street. And this is basically uh, ska meets swing revival. So if you like the Cherry Pop and Daddies, these guys are pretty much right up that, uh, that uh, alley there. So if you like those guys, you'll like these guys. So. And then just a kind of a basic singer-songwriter kind of thing with a little bit of electronica in it. Uh, Adrian Shaw, the album is called Lookout. Uh, yeah, not much to say about that one. Not much to say about this one either, The Dead Trees, kind of a indie rock, sort of on the softer side of indie rock, uh, singer-songwriter type of indie rock. And then we have another indie rock thing, uh, 1090 Club, uh, SOS is the name of the album. Again, really not much to say about it. So. And then we have Rattlebone. This is actually metal or hard rock. And uh, just so you know, this CD is already spoken for. Uh, I've got a friend who's a ma big metal fan. Uh, he's already getting this CD. I promised it to him. So, But yeah, check him out if uh, you can find him anywhere. Rattlebone, not bad for metal, which I'm not a huge fan of. And then, then we're getting to... Oh, and then Martina McBride. We all know who she is, country artist. Uh, yeah, just meh. N not not for me. No. If you're a Martina McBride fan, you don't have the CD, hit me up. Then we get to the two that uh, I'm probably going to keep. Well, this one is probably uh, the other one I'm definitely going to keep, but uh, yeah. Uh, Glenn Scott. This is kind of weird, I have to say, and uh, you know, and, and that's coming from somebody who likes music that doesn't fit neatly into a genre box. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure the thing is, it's almost a little too out there for my tastes. I'm going to give it a few more listens. I'm going to hang on to it for now. Uh, but yeah, he's... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's almost like I wasn't sure what he wanted to do with this album. You know, and sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes, you know, they go out and you know, kind of explore and stuff. But this one... And it could have been my frame of mind when I was listening to it. So that's another thing. That's why I'm going to keep it. Listen to it uh, several more times before I give up on it. But uh, yeah, if you if you like something that's kind of experimental, give Glenn Scott a try. And then the other one, which is a definite keeper in my book, is a band called Corduroy. Uh, the album is called Out of Here, and it's on a label called Acid Jazz. And yes, this is acid jazz music, with with which I was not familiar before listening to this. Uh, at least assuming this is you know typical acid jazz, it's kind of cool stuff. It's kind of catchy, and it's got a little bit of you know 
uh, it's jazz, but you know, with some interesting stuff thrown in. So, uh, yeah, I'm hanging on to this and giving it several more listens. It's, it's, I, I kind of like that stuff. So, uh, it's making me strongly consider uh, delving a little bit more deeply into the acid jazz subgenre, as it were. So, uh, anyway, yeah, those are the the outgoing CDs. Uh, well, mostly outgoing. I'm keeping a couple of them. Uh, there's always a couple of keepers, it seems, uh, in these bags. But let's get on into the first of the two bargain bags. So I'm going to be using a staple remover to open the bag. Uh, so I want to keep the bag intact for the uh, lovely little uh, opening that I did that obviously I haven't filmed yet because I'm opening the bag now. So the magic of video editing. There are only three staples in this one. There's usually five. So I was very considerate of whoever closed up this bag. Okay. The bag is uh, open. Let you take a look first. Okay, first item. Oh, Athlete. I've been meaning to try these guys. Uh, Beyond the Neighborhood is the name of this album. Uh, Athlete. It's I believe they're a Brit, uh, British band, Brit pop maybe. Uh, I'm not much into all that. A whole lot of Brit pop. I don't care for Oasis or Blur very much, but uh, I'm always willing to. Uh, there are a couple of Britpop artists that I do like. Um, Star Sailor is one of them. So, let's see. And Moan, the debut. Must be their debut album. Just taking a shot in the dark there. Uh, yeah, not sure what these guys are about, but uh, definitely give that a try. Then what do we have? The Olim Alves Funk Band. Hey. Okay. Always up for a little funk. Let's give it a try. Yes, you hear that phrase from me a lot. Let's give it a try. I'm going to give it a try. Sorry, I try not to repeat myself so much. We have Nicholas Gunn. Not sure who this is. Evoking the spirit of the American Southwest. Country, possibly? Or, or Heartland, Folk, Pop, something, possibly? I'm just guessing. But yeah. And then, oh, classical, Handel's Messiah, uh, Georg Solti, I think that's how you pronounce it, and the Chicago Symphony. Uh, that is actually one composition that I am not familiar with. I don't have any recordings of, I don't think, is Messiah. Uh, Real McCoy, One More Time, is the name of the album. Aren't these guys country? Maybe not. Maybe just the name of them is making them sound like country. I don't know. Then uh, the last CD out of this bag... Archer Avenue, I Was an Astronaut, is the name of the album. So yeah, a bunch of interesting stuff in there as usual. And now let's get on to the CD I'm going to review for you today. Uh, as usual is the case, uh, you should be able to find this in the bargain bin section of a fine local music retailer near you, uh, or a Goodwill store, or wherever you happen to buy your uh, CDs. It is Wild Seed, Wild Flower. This is the debut album by pop R&B singer-songwriter Dionne Ferris. And uh, she is best known for the big hit single on this album called I Know. And uh, it, it's one of my favorite singles of the 90s. If I were to do a ranking of them, it would end up in the top 20, definitely. Uh, probably in the top 10. But uh, yeah, it's a fa fantastic single. It's, it's almost got like a New Jack Swing kind of a beat to it. Uh, it's, but maybe not true New Jack Swing. But uh, yeah, it's a fantastic song. If you've listened to any significant amount of 90s music, you've probably heard that song. Call it up on YouTube or Spotify, and it'll probably sound familiar to you. And uh, that song actually, incidentally, won Dionne Ferris a Grammy for Best Female Pop Vocal Performance. Just a trivia note there for you. But the songs, the good songs on this album do not stop there, trust me. Uh, the album's lyrics uh, cover a wide range of topics, including domestic violence, uh, such as in the song Don't Ever Touch Me Again, and a Substance Abuse. Uh, there's a song called Stop to Think that's about substance abuse. Uh, but she also covers upbeat things like uh, Perseverance. Uh, there's a song called Find Your Way, which is about, you know, carrying on and, and finding your way. And uh, and that song has a great uh, kind of a small jazz combo groove to it, you know, just a very, very intimate kind of uh, mostly acoustic thing, uh, groove to it, which is fantastic. And uh, there's a, also a kind of an empowering sort of a song. Uh, it's called Human, and that is a fantastic a cappella song. Oh, that is, it's 
probably my second favorite song on the album next to uh, I Know. Just excellent song. And uh, another song about kind of about enlightenment. It's called Reality. And so listen to that one too. And the album also has some great instrumental hooks. Uh, there's a kick-ass guitar, rock guitar riff on the song Passion. And a really cool jazz funk sort of a groove on a song called Now or Later. And then a nice kind of a smooth R&B bounce on a song called Eleventh Hour. So it's just, this song, this album just has a bunch of great songs on it. And there's some other standout tracks like uh, a solidly funky, just a big slice of funk a song called Water. And there's a, then there's a beautiful acoustic rendition of Lennon and McCartney's Blackbird, which must be heard to be believed. It's just a, a fantastic, uh, delicate acoustic ballad kind of a rendition of that song. And uh, one of the odder things about this album, which I don't find odd, I find kind of fun and interesting, and for a reason I'll explain here in a sec, it's a little sketch near the end of the album called The Audition. And it features a character that uh, actor-comedian David Alan Greer popularized on the sketch comedy show In Living Color, which was, uh, which was popular in the early 90s. Uh, it's a, a blues singer named Calhoun Tubbs. And obviously he can't mention the character's name because that character is probably owned by the uh, producers of In Living Color, so he could only uh, do a riff on the character. But it, it was actually kind of funny. It, was, it might sound out of place on this album for people who aren't fans of In Living Color, but I got a big kick out of it, you know, being a fan of the show. So, you know, that's one of the little odd uh, side trips, detours that this album takes. But overall, uh, this is an album you've got to hear. If you like R&B-laced singer-songwriter pop from a strong, uh, assertive female artist, Dion Ferris, Wild Seed Wildflower. And unfortunately, uh, she did record, apparently, a follow-up to the album, but uh, she parted ways with Columbia before it could ever get released, and so she didn't end up releasing it until 13 years later in 2007. Uh, yeah, this album is from 1994, I believe. Yeah, 94. Uh, and uh, even then, she only released her follow-up album digitally. So, yeah, unfortunately, she we only had one really proper album out of her, a uh, physical album anyway. But it, it was a doozy. Wild Seed Wildflower by Dion Ferris. Check it out. And then just like that, it is time for the second and final grab bag of the month here. It's going to open up here. Open up again. Well, I'm doing it with this bag because it's going to make holes, so it wouldn't be good for the, uh, the gag at the beginning of the video. What the hell am I doing? What is that reason? But this is probably the only time I open bags this way. Because it takes a lot of time. Perhaps I will fast forward this part of the video. So you get bored. Okay. The bag is unsealed. Let you guys take a little peeksy. And here, by the, here we go. Ah, a single by Toad the Wet Sprocket. Uh, Fall Down. Yeah. I liked uh, a few of these guys' uh, singles. I was never really a follower of them, so it's cool to have a single by them. Okay, take a sip. Bajwana Tea. Uh, this is uh, definitely an indie release. And it's still sealed in its uh, plastic, so what the hell. I'm up for listening to anything, you know? And then, Submarine. I believe that's the name of the band, and Skin Diving is the name of the album. Their name sounds familiar. I've probably heard of them at some point somewhere. Seeing as how I kind of keep up on music, sort of, kind of, more or less, me. And then we have Fret Blanket. I know I've heard this name before, Fret Blanket. Uh, Junk Fuel is the name of the album. Oh, that's probably the name of the store that it was at, Country Corner Pawn, Pawn Shop. I was going to say it's country. I didn't think Fret Blanket was country, even though I have no idea what they are. And then we have Moriah. Now, they sound familiar, too. The Mystery is the name of the album. So, yeah. I'll give that one a check out. And Trent Monk. I assume that's his name. Uh, Stars Would Fall. And, oh, he's a cont contemporary Christian artist. Pray is the name of one song. Simply Jesus is the name of another. At least I assume it's contemporary Christian. It kind of looks like that way from the track listing, so that'll probably get a big pass from me. I think. And then a band called Pankow. Gisela is the name of the album? Unless uh, the artist is Gisela and the name of the album is Pankow. Uh, yeah. 
Yep. As usual, lots of interesting stuff in this bag. I love doing these bargain bags. I tell you, you never know what you're going to find. So anyway, yeah, that is it for bargain bag for the month of July. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I appreciate the feedback, whether about this video or anything on my channel or about music in general. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. I invite you to subscribe to my channel as well and check out my past videos to see what you might have missed. I'm also on Twitter and you can find a link to my Twitter feed in the description below. So check it out and follow along. Also, please take the time to visit my friends and fellow YouTubers channels, which are also linked to in the description below. They're all great at what they do, and they're very much worth your attention. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And remember, life's too short to be a music snob.